Hey, what's going on guys? This is Evan with SaltStrong as the new fishing coach and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you three tips to catch more sheep's head from a kayak. Tip number one, positioning. Guys, you want to make sure that you are positioned well enough to be able to get away from the structure as soon as you hook into the fish. I personally like to fish the backside of pilings and backside of bridges with the current coming towards me so that I don't slam into the piling and also get wrapped up in the, uh, the structure and possibly lose the fish. Guys, a lot of the time when you hook into a sheep's head, its first reaction is going to be immediately to go straight into the piling or whatever structure that you're fishing and try to break you off. And this has happened to me quite a lot. So I figure a lot of the times when I go up to a piling, uh, in my kayak it is easiest for me to already have my drive in reverse, especially uh, before I even drop my bait just to make sure that I can get away as fast as possible from that structure. By doing this, you're able to control the fish a lot better instead of having the fish control you and pull you around, so you're able to land the fish a lot easier and it will just make you a better sheep's head fisherman overall. Tip number two, not spending too much time on the structure that you're fishing or pilings. Guys, a lot of the times when I'm fishing for sheep's head, I usually get a hit straight away, if not in just a few seconds after I drop my crab. Sheep's head are very aggressive feeding fish sometimes, especially with some moving current, moving tides. So I typically don't do the bait and wait method. Even though that you're using bait, you're still actively hunting the fish. You're still trying to find the most efficient piece of structure that they might be on because if they're down there and they're feeding they're more than likely going to hit your crab in just a few seconds. I can actually recall more times getting hits almost straight away than more times where I have just baited and waited for more than I'd say 30 or 40 seconds. So by moving from piling to piling you're giving yourself more of a chance of catching more fish because you're covering more water and you're able to save more time this way which will in result give you a better chance of catching more fish. Tip number three, rigging. So guys, this is called a jawbreaker jig. This is made by my buddy Travis out of North Carolina. This is a great jig head to use for sheep's head. So a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll break off one of their claws and I will stick this through that little socket that's created and outside the back of their bodies. Guys, I like to use mud crabs with these jig heads. It's just a better bait overall. Uh, it's just personal preference, but no matter what bait you choose to use, you wanna make sure that your bait is on the hook well and that it will last long enough to not just get torn away by bait fish. One mistake though that I commonly see people do with these kind of jig heads is that they will force the hook through the backside of their bodies and uh, ultimately rip the shell causing uh, bait fish and you know small sheep's head to pick away very easily at the crab itself. So guys what you want to do is actually just gently push the tip through the little socket that's created when you break off one of their claws outside the back slowly and inch it out. Instead of just grabbing the jig and just ripping it through the socket, which can sometimes lead to uh, ripping the shell itself. And by doing so, you are decreasing the amount of time that that crab might stay on the hook as it's easier for the bait fish and for smaller sheep to pick away at it and ultimately fall off. So there you guys have it, three tips to catch more sheep's head. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more tips and tricks. And for more on the water footage and insider reports, make sure you go to sawstrong.com and become an insider. I'll see you in the next video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, not only with tips and in-depth courses, but also our new Smart Fishing Spots app that actually tells you exactly where the fish will be feeding as well as the best times of day to fish there, plus so much more. You'll also save tons of money with tackle discounts and make tons of new fishing friends in the Insider community. So thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you in the Insider community soon.